we are all in this together. We are in this together. And a case like yours is not your case. It's, it represents millions of children who are being subjected to this stuff and whose parents don't have the means to put them in a private school, you know, or, or necessarily homeschool them. And this needs to be stopped in its tracks. Welcome to another episode of Home Education Today. I'm back with Brian Ruka, the podcaster with Right and Wrong podcast. And he's going to update us today on the recent developments in his life and with <clears throat> his experience with the um, public school system. So I, with that introduction, I'm just going to let you uh, launch in, Brian, and tell us, uh, update us on what's going on lately in your life. Awesome. Thanks for having me back, Chauncey. I'm uh, excited to be here. It was great last time we got to, got to chat. So thanks for extending the offer to let me come back. You bet. Uh, so the, uh, after we spoke, um, right when we first were, uh, made a connection, that time was when like the story, um, about the process I was going through with the city of Boston, uh, public school systems, um, that kind of was making the, making the waves and, um, the guy, a guy by the name of Brian Festa reached out to me and he um, is the co-owner of an organization called We the Patriots USA. And um, they got a great website that he would, uh, he'd be upset if I didn't mention it to you, we the Patriots USA.org. But they um, basically try to look for people that are um, being like having their constitutional rights violated. And what they'll do is they'll try to um, take on cases and raise, um, raise funds to bring lawsuits against um, like the government agencies um, for people like me, like somebody like me, who's just, you know, I feel like I'm just the average Joe working man who would have no clue what to do. And oh, my, you're a first responder. You yeah, are a first yeah, responder. Yeah. You're not even an average Joe. You're one of the heroes. Come on. They yeah, should be yeah, listening yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the funny thing too. I actually being employed by the same city. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gosh, darn, you should have some in yeah. there. Yeah, that would, that would help. But um, so the organization, We the Patriots um, USA, they try to set up lawsuits and, um, you know, their goal is to try to just help fight back any way that we can. And um, he's hoping that a case like mine a, a against like the public school system would be um, would would be a way to, to make school systems nationwide have to come up with like a complete alternative curriculum if they insist on doing the um you know including all the trans type of stuff or all the all the woke stuff or even i know like you're you're big in the crt um mm -hmm. so they they handle kind of issues like that um a lot of religious exemption issues they handle they've been handling like vaccine um requirement issues um they have a few like gun right issues coming up too so basically anything that has to do with constitutional law and, you know, he's been working with me trying to um, raise some funds so that we can really go after them here and uh, hopefully set a precedent that's going to be covered. That's going to cover all of us, not just me over here in Boston. You know? Right. So I don't know if uh, with all the, you know, hubbub around Roe being overturned this week, if a lot of our listeners are even aware of the fact that two religious protections, 1A um, cases have gone before the Supreme Court and been ruled in favor of religious freedom. I don't know if, if you know, a lot of people that I've talked to are not even aware of it because we're so focused on Roe and it just makes me, it kind of makes me wonder that the, you know, the universal power is sneaking <laughs> some things in there. The big one that people are talking about is out of Washington state where the football coach mm -hmm. was um, put on administrative leave for, for praying. Um, you know, uh, I guess it was after a football game, after football games, he was kneeling on the field. Yep. Does, was that requiring his, his players to kneel with him or anything, just did it by himself. And some people, you know, some of the kids and parents started doing it with him. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure thanking the Lord that everybody got through the game without injuries and, and that it was a good game and whatever. And he was put on administrative leave. The Supreme court just ruled in his favor after the two lower courts, the ninth circuit. And I can't remember the other one ruled against him. So looks like that had that, but the bigger one, okay. The bigger one is out of Maine. That's up your alley, right? Yes. And they just (laughs) ruled, right. That, you cannot discriminate against religious education in, and use, you can use federal funds for religious mm-hmm. education. So a case like yours, hello, <laughs> yeah. you're going to win, you know, yeah. because you have religious rights as a parent and your child has religious rights as a parent and the public schools cannot push something on you that is against your religious beliefs. Absolutely. They cannot Absolutely. do that. Yeah. So that is super, super exciting. So where, where are you in that process of, of this lawsuit? Do you know? So <laughs> where um, it's still in the early. So they, they, um, in advance um, before they actually can go forward with the, with the process, because they, they'll take an estimate on what it's going to cost to, to, you know, get all their ducks in a, in a row before they can actually you know, file everything and, and make it, make it happen. So he has, um, they have a goal set for a $50,000, um, which is what they're, they're trying to do for my case. Um, they have an, another case that has to do with like, um, military, um, like a, like a 22 year army sergeant who it is asking to not have to take the vaccine because of his religious exemption as well. And he's being denied, so like that case um, it has like a $75,000 um, limit on it or not limit, but goal for it because it, it has to do with military law and stuff. So right. basically we're looking to try to raise, um, get to that $50,000 mm-hmm. number from my case um, to be able to go forward with it. Um, so anything, anybody could help. I know it's tough times with uh, Joe yeah. Biden's America these days, <laughs> whether, uh, you know, Maybe, maybe you could spend $20 that you would put in a gallon of gas, uh, <laughs> maybe towards the case over here, or even, you know, I know that I know Brian who, who runs the organization. He, uh, he said it best before where it's like, you know what, even if, if five people did five, $10 a piece and then shared it on their Facebook page or on Twitter or whatever, wherever they may be. And um, maybe told five other friends of theirs about it and got, you know, that five, 10, $15, the, the amounts that are a little bit more reasonable. Um, I think there'd be a much better chance to try to raise it that way, as opposed to just relying on like real high priced um, donors. Right. And so. because the thing is, Brian, we are all in this together. We are in this together. And a case like yours is not your case. It's, it represents millions of children who are being subjected to this stuff and whose parents don't have the means to put them in a private school, you know, or, or necessarily homeschool them. And this needs to be stopped in its tracks. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. giving a, giving five bucks or 10 bucks is a representation of our support, right? For everyone who's in this situation and it's a lot of kids and it's a lot of people and it needs to be, it needs to be cut off. I, I'm very encouraged that I feel like the tide is starting to turn, uh, especially with the new Supreme Court. Absolutely. It's really starting to be turned yeah. because the left is going, oh, okay, maybe we aren't going to get away with this. <laughs> yeah. you know, maybe, maybe this is, you know, if they're, they're going to be hard pressed to ever get row back. Right. Absolutely. It's not, it's, you know, even, even if they turn, unless they pack the court, unless they're able to to pass it, you know, and they're going to try to do that. Oh yeah. That's what what all the politicians up here in Massachusetts are calling for. So it's a, it's ridiculous that the the court is, uh, is, is the prestigious democracy that they're always trying to protect when it rules in their favor. And the second it doesn't, then it needs to be torn down and right. Get rid of the electoral college. Get rid of, get rid of, you know, the Supreme court that we don't like. And yeah, it's, it's Mm -hmm. nuts. And so 
again, you're a case like yours and, and some of these other cases, this represents everybody in the country who believes in freedom and exactly. believes in any kind of self-determination and religious freedom, gun, gun freedom, all of it. So I appreciate you coming on and, and telling us and giving us that opportunity and I'll be donating something. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> and well, I'll make sure where, that I tell us where we go and how we do that. So their website is um, it's called we the Patriots USA.org. So okay. Patriots with an S um, on the end USA.org. And if you go on their website, it will uh, it's right on the front there. They have like their featured stories and I'm, I'm one of the featured um, cases that they're, they're funding for right now. So you'll see it. Um, you know, if you're on your phone, just, just each one has its own box as you scroll or on your, on your desktop. Um, everything's right there. And there's a link to be able to do it. You could set up a one-time um, donation. You could set up like one of those, like, Hey, if you can, if you could swing five bucks a month, you could set up a recurring payment, something like that. And um, they're a nonprofit organization. Um, you know, so I, I, if, if that is something you want to work out with the taxes on the back end too, it's tax deductible, I believe. Um, so it, and it's a, it's a good cause. It's a worthy cause, like you mentioned, like, and it feels like we have the momentum too. So all it is going to take is to be able to get the amount of money up to just go forward with it. And that's, that's the left's um, playbook is they, they know that they have deeper pockets, which is, uh, which is, is funny. Cause it's like, it's almost like the opposite of the way it's always been pitched to you. At least for me growing up was you'd think Republicans are all, all, all the party of the rich and the Democrats are the common man. <laughs> it's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. Um, but they get all the donations from all the corporations. They have all the celebrities in their back pocket. So they raise money, no problem. And um, I think a lot of conservatives um, at, at times tend to tend to think like, oh, that's great. And, you know, someone's going to be doing it. Someone's got it. So I think well, you kind of nailed it too earlier. We yeah, said, this is all of our fight right here. Yeah. And, and, and I have to say that, you know, like the people that I know, and obviously most people in my circle are conservative at this point didn't used to be that way. It used to be that I used to have many, many friends. I didn't even know what their political persuasion was. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. We just, we'd just be friends at church or whatever. And we're at the school or, you know, my wrestling, my kids, my boys wrestled and whatever these days you got to know because you got to be <laughs> walk on eggshells about what you say. Right. Yeah. Yep. And, um, and I can't remember where I was going with that, but um, uh, it used to be most people in, in my circles are conservative now. And, you know, we're giving to charitable causes. Mm -hmm. We're giving to, we're, we're spending our money to help, you know, directly help people. So I think sometimes the political things, it's like, you know, you have to have faith in something like, I don't really get, I give directly to certain candidates. I don't give like to general funds myself yeah. because I don't know where that money's going. I don't know whether it's always all going to administrative stuff or what, what it's going to, to go to, or if it's going to even go to candidates that are rhinos that, you know, I just stopped doing that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to be careful about where you put your money these days for sure. But I was going to say, Brian, you're going to have to probably go get a suit if you're going to the Supreme Court, buddy. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Uh, Wouldn't that be fun? Yep. Yep. Oh, it would my be. Gosh. Absolutely. I'm so jealous. I wish I, I know, could go be, to this. It would be fun. That'd be pretty good. I'll say <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take a knee out front like uh, Coach Kennedy did, too, yes. if we get there. <laughs> That's but right. But in in his case is funny, too, that... Uh, so what a difference it takes on, on which person has a right to nail on a, on a football field and which person doesn't, huh? I know. I know. Have, have, do you get on, are you on social media? Do you like, you know, yeah, argue, argue yeah. with people on social media? Yeah, so a little stupid. bit. I mean, I, I try to use it to uh, hopefully to try to help with the podcast and right. stuff. Um, gotcha. I've, I've created so many different um, accounts on every, on every site now. So I'm always trying to, trying to stay in the, uh, in the mix with that. Um, but yeah, it's all, all over the place right now. Yeah. Well, I had, I actually had COVID. Um, I've been over it a week, most, mostly over it a week, but have for like two weeks, my husband and I, so I was like, you know, I'm too tired to do much else, mm -hmm. but not tired enough to just sleep all day. 
So I was on social media way too much, but, um, you know, I'm arguing with people about abortion and, and, and one day I just looked at my husband and said, you know, it's my job to, to correct everyone in the world, I guess. Yep. Hey, that's great. And I to give it. everybody a civics lesson on I, what are people thinking? They have no clue crazy. as to how even our government works. I know what the constitution says. And I, if I have to have one more conversation about separation of church and state, Oh. I'm going to, I'm going to scream and tear my hair out. And I have a lot of hair. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not going to, it's not going to be funny. It's not going to be pleasant because well, I have to have people stop saying that. Are you sitting on any uh, old VHSs of schoolhouse rock? <laughs> you can bust those I'm back not. out. I'm a, I'm a bill up on Capitol Hill. right? <laughs> Show everybody I how it's supposed it. to be done. I love and, it. And the funny thing for me is like, I, I honestly, like, I know that I, I have the show. It's a, it's a political um, talk show podcast and stuff, but <laughs> I honestly consider myself to be a novice um, yeah. at, at least politically. Like I try to, I try to come to the, from the approach of just like the common person, like the common sense in, in the basic understanding of a lot of the stuff in, and you're absolutely right. When you, when you look on social media and stuff, the, the reaction to this, it's like people don't even have like the basic understanding basic. of the role of the Supreme Court or, or right, our right. government, our, our legislation yeah. and, and yeah. what They're, Congress is supposed to be doing. Yeah, this guy was saying, well, if the legislature would do their job, then the Supreme Court wouldn't have to rule, make, make <laughs> laws. And I'm like, uh. And they basically just Stop, told you, go, people. go ahead, go make, go, go do your job. Oh, <laughs> that's what they turned so, it back over to them. Yeah. Which I is, got... which is something that's in, impressive too. If you think about it, it's like, uh, um, you might be getting a little sneak preview of one of the angles I'm going on for, for the show this week. Like I, I released the episodes on Thursday, so I haven't quite recorded it yet. I'm, I'm still in the, in the planning it out phase, but, um, but what the Supreme Court did and what those um, at least the six members that that ruled correctly did was return power to the people, yeah. like give give away power, which which is it makes me think all the way back to the very first president we had, George Washington, mm-hmm. in how it never ceases to amaze me how impressive it is that he gave away his power. Like, yeah. you know, what I mean, the first ever person in that role, he could have been president for life. Yeah. And, he and they wanted him away. to be king. They did. There was a exactly. whole fact that wanted him to be king. It's like, so, so the fact that he had the wherewithal to do that and to understand how important that was is so impressive to me. And that's what it made me think of with like what the Supreme Court did today. It's like they've had this control and this power to rule how they wanted with that and to kind of take mm-hmm. it away from we the people. Right. And they relinquished power yeah. this past week and returned it back to the people. I know. And and people going nuts over it, saying that that's democracy dying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. That's democracy. It's dying. crazy. Do you know what democracy is? And do you know we're not a democracy? We're a representative republic. <laughs> we vote for representatives to represent us. And when we choose bad representatives, mm-hmm. we lose our power. We lose our freedoms. And we, lose our, we lose our choice. And the choice we're losing is to do good things. We're losing the choice to do good things. People think that we have the choice to do anything. Well, you have the choice to do anything, but when you do bad things, it restricts your freedom. It restricts mm-hmm. your choices. When you do good things, it gives you more choices and more freedom. Yep. That's why we have the freedom of choice. That's why we have God-given freedom of choice. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting, too, how you mentioned... Um, that a lot of the, the conservatives or, or people in your circle will will spend money on on helping people and causes. And again, that's that's the way it's designed. Like, mm-hmm. like, again, I'm no expert, but just like reading through the Federalist Papers, like I, I've, you know, I'm trying to learn more about that myself. That's one of those things for me. So I haven't gotten to every single one of them yet, but stands out to me right near the beginning of it that the idea is is to have have um, a noble enough people that they're going to take care of the people in need themselves without the government having to do that right. and take on that responsibility, which the left is 
wants to give all that responsibility to government and it's horrible. And, There's and no waste accountability most of the there. money. It's, waste it's most wasteful. Of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Where it's like, you'd rather people that are just in a community, take care of each other and help each other out and yeah. do it, do it that way. That's. And, and we used to, we used to. And you realize that right now that the great reset that they're trying to make through our energy policy, through inflation, that this was all planned. I'm, I'm not, I don't care if anybody calls me a conspiracy theorist, there can be no other explanation when you look at what's going on and they, they can all see it. They make no apologies. They're mm-hmm. making no pivots. They're making no bones about the fact that it's okay. It's okay if energy prices are hard. This will help us to get to green energy, which is impossible mathematically. We cannot switch over to complete green energy. It's not mathematically possible. If we everybody had 10 windmills on their property and all the solar panels on their roof, I'm serious. I mean, I don't know if you've ever read analysis of what it would take. It's still not possible to have the kind of society we have industrially and be on green energy. It's not a possible thing. We have to have fossil fuels and we have enough to last us for hundreds of years, just right here in this country. Right. So the great reset that's happening is they're trying to create the great depression because that's when really the whole country's mindset changed was when they got so desperate that they pleaded with FDR for these social programs. Please come take away our freedom so that we can have safety so that I can feed my children. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing again right now. They're creating this crisis for a reason. They, they want us to become a socialist country. It didn't work under FDR because there were, I mean, to the extent that he wanted it to, but yeah. that's what's going on here. Well, and I think they want to take it even further to make it a I socialist agree. globe. That's, that's what I mean. A socialist <laughs> right. globe. Yeah. A one, yeah. a one world government. Yeah. yeah. And I don't care who calls me a conspiracy theorist. There can no, be no not. other. And, and I think we're going to see some crazy things happen if Germany goes down because Germany's tottering right now because they don't, they don't have the natural resources they need from Russia. Well, they, they, yeah, they went completely green, right? As far as like, like again, I'm, I'm a novice on it, but they, yeah. No, no, and, you and can't. They, they did go completely green. They were using natural gas, liquefied natural gas uh, through Russia. But when they didn't come out and support Russia in their war, Russia cut them off. Yeah. So, so they're now firing up their coal plants again. But I was just reading an article and it was saying with their natural gas plants that there's some kind of glass glass cylinders and they have to keep them running if okay. they shut down they melt or something or they they crash and and it will take them decades to rebuild those plants and they there's not enough natural gas for them they they can't get it anywhere mm-hmm. and they're going to lose all their energy plants it's not funny it's not funny what's going on Anyway, I have no idea what's happening in, in Russia and Ukraine. I don't get it. I don't understand that at all. If anybody can explain that to me, what's really happening over there, I, you know, I'll donate to your cause. Because nobody can tell me what's <laughs> happening over there. And we yeah. have some Ukrainian folks that are doing some work on our house. And they're like, Putin just wants to re- rebuild the USSR. I'm like, You know what everybody can do, though, is, is change their Facebook profile to a Ukrainian flag. There we go. They could do that though. That will, that's going to, yeah. that's going to help matters. There we go. Show you, we, show yeah. you where they stand with everything. Well, you're a patriot. You're a great guy. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And we're going to bring a lot of other people with us. And I, I wish you it. great luck in your, um, in your lawsuit. And again, encourage everybody to, um, to go and, and donate just a little bit enough of yeah, us donate anything. a little bit it doesn't really it goes fast really if, yeah. if enough people can do it and uh our website our owl website is going to be firing up in about three weeks 
So we have lots of um, people signing up on that. It's really gaining steam and momentum and exciting to, uh, That's awesome. to see that come to, to be. I so, felt great when I, when I got accepted into your Facebook group there. That was, yeah. a, that was a big day in my life. <laughs> I got approved <laughs> you to join. <laughs> no, you guys do great work, though. It's, it's yeah. very helpful information uh, and, and a lot of good reading material. Yeah. Well, we are, haven't even scratched the surface. Uh, I haven't even been loading that. I've been working so hard and, and a million other things that I haven't uh, paid attention to that as I should, but soon, soon videos, trainings, all kinds of good things coming, coming there. So Brian, uh, you're a good friend. I hope we can meet in person someday and uh, I'll be watching. I'll get another update from you. Just reach out to Absolutely. me when there's new information and we'll talk again. And we'll have the, we'll have the shirt and tie then. I'll trade, I'll trade in, I'll trade in the t-shirts for you. I don't, I think I'll have to, I won't be able to wear the hat either. Yeah, I'll have to show everyone it's okay. that I went, I went bald in my thirties. So, you know, it will all, it's all for a good cause at least, I guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and that, uh, you, I'll, I'll send you the link too. Um, Perfect. so that, that hopefully you could put that in like the, in like the notes of the video, but Absolutely. we, the Patriots USA.org. Nice. All right. Good luck. And thanks all a right. lot. Thanks a lot. It was nice speaking with you. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye.